And just a quick recap on where the purchase orders are at. If we were then to try to pay them, we could say, okay, purchase orders are gonna be in the expenses area. We can look at it by vendor. So if I go to the vendors, they've got this nice little thing up top where it has the purchase order. So if I select that one, then it gives us the, the item or the vendor, which is Fender, <laughs> that has the purchase order. So then over here, we can send it or we can uh, copy it to a bill. So that's gonna be basically the next step is we can basically copy it to a bill here. So if you were in the other view, by the way, the business view, then it would be in the get paid and paid area. And that's gonna be in the vendors. That's where we're at. You also can look for the purchase orders by looking at, if I open, let's open the little burger, the little bu burger back to the vendors. Let's open the big burger and expenses. And then I can go to the expenses tab. That's what I'm trying to get to. And then I can sort by the filter drop down here, possibly by just the purchase orders and then maybe the open purchase orders and boom. So there we have it here. If you were in the business view, by the way, it would be a little different. It would be on the bookkeeping and then transactions up top and expenses. So there it is there. Okay, so then I, or I, so now I can hit this drop down and create a bill because now we're imagining that we're gonna, we're gonna make the bill entering it into the system. Uh, or I can hit the plus button up top and just make a bill this way. And if I type in the the vendor, which is Fender, <laughs> that, that was the new vendor, Fender, I can type that in. So there it is over here. So then I can add it and say, add that por favor. And then we could say, okay. We could say lots of stuff, but I'll say, okay. And then I'm gonna say 02, 22, uh, 23. And so 30 day net 30 for when the bill's gonna be due, I'll just keep that. And then uh, down here, we don't have a category because we're not just assigning it to an expense, but the item pulled over and it pulls over properly because this now, if I was to type in like the SQ, you'll re recall when we had the, the billable items, I had that kind of issue with it having the cost versus the sales price. This is the cost. So it links over beautifully from the purchase order, which also has the cost to the bill, which has the cost, not the sales price. You've got this nice little link that shows that it is a link. It is indeed linked. And so we can add a memo, we can add the attachments, we can cancel, we can clear, we can make recurring. And what's this gonna do? It's a bill. That means it's gonna increase the accounts payable. The other side's gonna go to not just an expense category, but driven by the item to the inventory category and the units of inventory are going to be increasing at this point by the 20 units that we're purchasing. Let's check it out. Let's save it and close it and see if that is indeed what happens or if I'm lying or if I'm just not right because I'm just I'm just wrong. Sometimes that happens. It's quite rare. It's quite rare, but whatever. And then we'll go into the inventory. And so then if I scroll down on the inventory, there's the bill for the new vendor fender. If I go into it, there's the bill. And then I'm closing that back out, scrolling up to the top. And then the other side's going into, did I just look at the, in, the accounts payable? A to the P, AP accounts payable is B to the N. The A to the P is B to the N. BN, AP accounts payable is BN. Is being how you being? I'm being. I'm Mui being. Why settle for just being when you can be Mui being? Okay, I'm distracted. I'm gonna I'm gonna right click on this tab to the right now, and just to show that that accounts payable we have a sub ledger for as well, which is down here on the reports. Closing out the hamburger. If we scroll down to who. You, what you owe then we can go to the accounts payable aging let's just do the summary breaking out who owes us money let's do it from 0228 to 3 run it so there's the new vendor fender owing us to 3360 which is now over here the 3360 also we can track that if i go to the tab to the left 
and I can see in the filter options that the purchase order is now closed. So if I go into the uh, purchase order and I look for the closed purchase orders, then the new vendor fender is here. And if I go into it, then I can see the link to the bill. So I got these nice little links and there's the bill. So it can take us on over to the bill. Notice that on, uh, and so there the bill has been linked here to the purchase order. Okay, so that's nice. And so I'm gonna close that back out. And then I can also, while I'm over here on the expenses side of things, I can filter by the bill if I want to. That's in place now, the bill. Now I want the open bills. Open bill, boom, there's the open bill. I can schedule the payment. Uh, I can mark as paid, edit, review, I can delete and so on. And of course I can track that by vendor too in the expenses category vendor and then i want the open bills i can do that up here and just check out the vendors now it's fender that has one open bill i can go into it and now i see the detail for fender the new vendor so i can go into the purchase order and say there's the purchase order now closed you've got the link looks muy b to the end and then the purchase order and then you've got uh uh, vendor fender the new vendor and it's linked up here and you've got the link to the purchase order there so that looks uh that looks good also we have the inventory let's not forget the inventory the inventory up top is here we have the sub ledger tracking by unit of inventory so i'm going to go to the tab to the right and let's just use this tab i'm going to open it go to the reports and type in inventory valuation summary because this has effects as well that are important oh uh 22823 okay and so there is our 20 units of the new i think that's what we got the squires the 9623 is the total which ties out to the total here on the inventory 